the night she will be born, a dove will be found on the prince's bed, and there will be a heavy rainfall on that day. She will be born with a birth mark at her back, and the birth mark is that of a dove. Make sure the prince doesn't settle for another, she said. In a very cool yet sunny afternoon, Prince Bami was born. There was so much joy in the royal palace and the entire Etiti village. One month after the birth of the prince, the gods sent a message to the royal palace through the priestess Amura. She said, the gods have chosen a wife for the prince, but she has not been born yet. But she will be born in a year and six months time from now. These are the signs you should look out for. She has been chosen to rule side by side with the prince. She has a good heart. She has a pure soul and she is also a great healer. The night she will be born, a dove will be found on the prince's bed and there will be a heavy rainfall on that day. She will be born with a birth mark at her back and the birth mark is that of a dove. Make sure the prince doesn't settle for another, she said. The family she will come from, nobody knows yet. But when you see these signs, know that she has been born. Abura said, and she left. Exactly one year, six months, as prophesied by Abura, Elima, a beautiful woman, was born. She was every man's heart desire. She was so beautiful and kind hearted. And she has a pure soul. She was also a great healer, just as prophesied by Abura. Everyone loved Elima because of her exceptional beauty and kind heart. People would often bring their sick people to her and she would heal them without taking anything in return. So people often brought gifts to Elima. She was also a farmer. Elima's parents died when she was just 12 years old. And since then, she has been all alone struggling to survive on her own. Her father was a hunter and her mother was a petty trader. Many suitors came for Elima, but she was not pleased with any of them. This was from the gods in order to reserve her for the prince. The prince, on the other hand, was a charming young man too. He always had the interest of the people at heart and everyone loved him. He was the only child of the royal family. One cool evening, the prince was taking a stroll along a lonely road and a snake beat him and immediately screamed for help. Now, Elima was around that bush fetching firewood when she heard someone screaming for help. Elima quickly ran to the place and found the prince on the ground screaming and she helped him and then healed him. So when he regained consciousness, he introduced himself to her as the prince of Ititi village and she bowed and greeted him and he thanked her but from the moment they both saw each other there was this unusual sensation all around them and he felt this peace and warmth all over her and she felt this satisfaction as though a part of her that was missing has been found the prince thanked her and pleaded with her that he would take her home and introduce her to his parents and tell them what has happened and at least for them to say thank you to her so she went with him to the palace and narrated the entire story and they were all happy and appreciated her they gave her gifts but she refused the king and the queen were surprised then she left and went back home her heart never stopped thinking about the prince and likewise the prince was also thinking about her a week later he made inquiry, found out where she was living and went to visit her. She was surprised and happy at the same time. From time to time, the prince would often visit Elima and they became so close and connected. One day, the prince asked her to marry him, but Elima refused. She said, I'm a poor orphan, but you are the prince. Your parents will never allow you to settle for a poor orphan like me. But he told her not to worry, that he would take care of that. When he told his parents about his intention to marry Elima, they bluntly refused. The father told him it will never happen. 
the gods have already chosen a wife for you and she alone you will marry you will marry no other the prince was so angry he said why will i wait all my life for a woman i have never seen before elima is the only woman i have ever loved in my entire life please father let me marry her the day the prince brought elima for introduction they told her please leave this palace the prince is married already a wife chosen by the gods themselves for him so he can never marry you heart broken elima ran home and went to her parents grieve instead of crying the prince came to her house the next day to explain that he was only betrothed and not officially married but she refused to listen to him after pleading with her she came out to listen to him while she was coming out she slipped and fell down and while the prince was trying to help her up he saw the bet mark at her back but he kept quiet and he tried to explain to her that he was only betrothed and not married and he said to her before now i didn't know her but now i know her and she is right here with me elima was surprised and didn't understand what the prince was talking about so he told her everything and the bet mark of the dove that he has just confirmed she was speechless and she also told him that her parents told her that the day she was born there was a white dove on the roof of their house for almost the entire day and there was a heavy rainfall and they asked her if she had always had the dove on her back and she said i was born with it then they understood the reason for their unusual connection so the prince told her not to worry when he got home he told his parents everything but they said the gods will never choose a woman from a poor and wretched family in nobody to be the next queen to rule this great people even when the prince brought her and showed them the mark they still didn't believe so the prince told his parents that it's either elima or nobody and he is convinced that she is the one besides the gods don't look at our physical appearance he said they don't look at our social status or position but the gods look at the heart but they refused to listen to him he was ready to let go of the throne and everything for elima's sake but elima pleaded with him not to do so but he refused one sunny afternoon abura the priestess came to the royal palace uninvited she asked the king and the queen why has power and wealth blinded your eyes so much that even though you've seen the truth before you you've refused to accept it and do the right thing it is a man who judges based on the outside but the god knows the heart of everyone and looks at the heart elima is the chosen one and you know it you might be rich and powerful but elima bears fruits that are more precious fruits that money can't buy her heart is so pure and that's why she has been chosen with her by the side of the prince the city will know the kind of peace and prosperity it has never known before they will bring a lot of good things in their reign elima was immediately summoned and they all saw the birth mark the king and the queen apologized and pleaded with her so abura blessed them and the king and the queen also blessed them and after five months the prince and elima go married and they live happily ever after